I work with Money Out Voters In and the burgeoning movement to get money out of politics through a constitutional amendment. Um, given that you filed an amicus brief in support of Citizens United, but then two years later told the Ithaca Journal um, that it was a corrupting influence uh, and, and really decried that position, what are you going to do to reverse that and make good on that past mistake? Well, let's set the record straight first. <laughs> Because it, while you are entitled to your opinion, you're not necessarily entitled to your own facts. Yes, we filed an amicus, but what was it geared towards? Making sure that unions weren't treated differently than there any other group. We also said, and we have continued to say, yes, we ought to get money out of politics. That money doesn't equal free speech. I do not believe that Jefferson and Hamilton were sitting around a table and one of them looked at the other and said, you know, Tom, uh, I have $1,000 and you only have $100. That means I get 10 times more free speech than you. I don't think that was the intent. So we're gonna work as best we can to try to rectify that. It may take a constitutional amendment because this Supreme Court, as currently constituted, equates money with free speech. And that fundamental difference prevents virtually any kind of meaningful legislation uh, from happening. That means we'll continue to have a system that is polluted with money. I, I do want to clarify. I, I wasn't meaning to. Please keep it to one question. Please. Um, I wanted to clarify about my. You can stay in the room. I owe you one. Can I just say that? Yeah, I do. No, I do. I certainly didn't mean to suggest that you, you, you held anyway. equal weight to uh, what was going on with the case, that, that you supported corporations having unlimited spending, but how could you file in support when some of the other labor unions filed amicus briefs opposing the court decision? I don't know that anybody did. Who did? It was at least SEIU and NNU, the National Nurses Union. Uh, well, look, here's what we filed. I want to be real clear about it. We said, if you're going to let them spend money, then we ought to be able to spend the same amount. The way they were angling at it is we can let corporate America have unlimited spending and labor unions be muzzled. We said, that violates the due process. That was our argument. Overall, look at our policy. It goes back 50 years probably. It says, get money out of politics. It doesn't work. It pollutes politics. And what do we have with it? We have a Supreme Court who believes money equals free speech. So how do you do, other than a constitutional amendment, how do you get predicate a law that can actually be real reform without changing it? So, That's a question. So, but it's my question. How? Well, I, I think that you have to form coalitions with other progressive organizations that are fighting to overturn Citizens United. And so I hope that's what you're saying you're going to do. Bingo! That's what that was all about. Absolutely. Thanks. And I look forward to fighting with you. Same here. Cool. I'm sorry.